it's mind-blowing i do not like it why is it that a lot of these communities in certain areas always seem to be facing this one issue and certain communities in other areas don't face this issue let me ask uh, where's the water coming from where's it coming from what's wrong with these it just it's crazy light going away is crazy for the whole day Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bikana. If you're new here, please check out some other videos on my channel. Like this video, leave a comment down below if you agree or if you do not agree with the points I will be bringing up. And shout out to my B squad. Shout out to everybody that always comes back and press like and subscribe and that says um, a notification gang. If you don't have the bells turned on, hit that bell right down below. And let's jump right into this video. So today I have my laptop right next to me with the notes. So if I do look over here, that's what I'm doing. But today I'll be talking about the things that I do not like about living in Jamaica. And I know the title says hate, but we're trying to pull some people in because we're going to have a discussion about it. Some of these things I really do hate, but hate is a strong word. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Number one is the excessive cat calling from men. I don't like it. And I know every single country, men do that. Like they do that in Egypt. They do that in New York. They do that in Paris. Like different cities, different countries, all over the place they do it. But personally, from a woman's perspective, from my very own perspective, Jamaica tends to, they do it a lot. They do it a lot and it's very, very annoying. It's very uncomfortable, especially, you know, Jamaican men are very vocal and, you know, they have a way of saying things. They don't say it like, oh, they don't say, oh, hey, girl, hey, cute girl or whatever. Or, oh, babes, you know, they, they, you know what they say. Um, so it can be very explicit. Um... So before COVID, pre-COVID, like taking taxis to what I used to hate is when a taxi man would try to grab me. Um, not like he's taking me somewhere in a boat. They're trying to get you to take their taxi so they'll hold on to you. That's one thing I hate too. It's like the overbearingness of men in Jamaica when it comes to women and, you know, our bodies and the cat calling. The overall, the cat calling is very annoying. Um, if you have any experience or if you agree with me, drop a comment down below. And I know I'm not the only female that feels like this, so it's very, very annoying. Number two is the rough driving and the bad roads. The rough driving and the bad roads. Like how you could put those two together, it's mind blowing. I do not like it. One, there's not much we can do about the road because that's all up to the government, right? So. People are paying and not paying taxes, so I don't know how we can remedy that. They always promise better roads and better roads must come. Better roads never come, I'm just saying. Um, once in a while, you do see some roads that do get fixed, so I'm not going to lie and say none of these roads are good. That's just not true. A lot of the roads, a good amount of roads do get fixed yearly, but it really would be nice if more roads were fixed like what was going on with the funds or if, if it be that you don't have the money to allocate to these certain roads explain to the people what's going on like let's let's see what we as a community can do to help the government but you just hear oh vote for me you get good roads and then when you vote for the person a couple years pass and your road's still bad like it, it's very frustrating to see things like that especially when people say oh it's the rain, but other countries rain and their roads are fine. Um, it's the big trucks. I can tell you that though, these big trucks, I don't know what's going on with the loads on these trucks, but they do mash up the roads when they're constantly driving on one particular road. So I don't know how that will be fixed, but um, the next thing that I wanted to say about the bad roads, when you put the bad roads and the rough driving together, it doesn't work. It doesn't work a taxi driver will be driving recklessly like speeding fast and furious in and out dodging like stepping on bricks pulling up behind the car stopping pausing then pulling around and going you know what I'm talking about and it's very scary as a passenger 
unfortunately a couple days ago some people lost their lives so it's really really sad i can't go into detail about it too much you can google it it's it's hot news right now and it's very very tragic so i'm i um really empathize or sympathize on, i don't know which one is the right one to say both maybe um with the families because i'm pretty sure reckless driving was one of the factors speeding um i can't say but it, it's sad rough roads rough driving it just doesn't go together number three bad customer service i can't even like it makes no sense for me to go into too much detail about this because we've all experienced bad customer service all over the world but in particular jamaica there's like i can give you three places three only three only three places that i've experienced really good customer service from everywhere else it's like the people working there make it seem like you're bothering them you're bothering them even my cousin gave me an example she said she went somewhere not gonna name where but she went somewhere and she was asking for help and the person was like yeah we don't have that or yeah it's there and it's like can you can you elaborate can you say okay we don't have it but here's what we do have like here's what we can do we can order it for you or here's something else if you're interested in this or yes we do have it let me take you to that specific department or let me give you that department number sometimes i even call um government offices and honestly i don't even get through to people most of the time because nobody answers their phone that's one but when they do it's like what happened um i called a government office and literally i have to call back so many times so to me and the lady now friends and i call her and check up on her <laughs> right good things can come out of it sometimes but i called and she's like yeah no this department doesn't do that and i'm like okay well this is the number that's coming up on the government website if you don't deal with it can you please help me find a specific um department branch ministry that deals with this like it's very important that i reach them and this is the number that they're saying deals with it so how can you help me how can you assist me people aren't aren't interested in doing that here in jamaica and you're spending your money this is for private business you're spending your money to purchase something or to to acquire a service and people are treating you terribly like how 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 do you how do you accept that i don't I don't get it number four is poor accessibility um there's so much things the accessibility of health care is very in my opinion poor in jamaica and again i'm not singling out jamaica because i know every country goes through this but what kind of person would i be moving back to jamaica and empowering other people to move back and not tell them the reality of what we're facing here you know nothing nothing would change if i keep my mouth shut about things that bother me or that i know a group of people face similar challenges so please don't take this as some hate video it's not hopefully we can have some discussions in the comment section maybe we can try figure out groups or maybe if you know of a way that someone can do something to 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 change what's going on then fully well talk about that let's let's start the conversation going but like i said i'm just listing out things that affect me and that i know affect others so like i was saying poor accessibility health care and i know the system in jamaica is not the best because you can only deal with what you're what you're given but it's it's so poor it's poor health care is poor um being being in a country that we are in and the times that we're in is very rough for everybody but that doesn't mean you should treat people bad when they come in sick or you should turn people away that's not acceptable um it's very hard as well to get certain items granted that they're not made in jamaica but a lot of things aren't made in a lot of countries but we can still get it especially at affordable costs so shipping international shipping is not accessible and even when someone's saying oh but buy local just imagine your small business in jamaica that is owned by a local person that's shipping in these items that they want to sell to people here in jamaica it's hard for them as well so yes we would like to support made in jamaica local by jamaicans 
but sometimes things aren't here and we'd like to get them. That's very hard. No lie, no shade. Number five, water shortage and light going away. If you've never experienced light going away in Jamaica, you just, you are, you, you're somewhere else. You're totally far and removed. I'm telling you, you're far and removed. And that's good for you. That's really, really good for you. But a lot of communities in Jamaica, especially ones in more rural areas, don't have water. They depend on a water truck. Water, water. <laughs> they depend on a water truck to bring them this it's a necessity like it's something you absolutely need to survive so it's very sad sometimes um i understand when there's an issue with piping and they have to cut water or whatever whatever but why is it that a lot of these communities in certain areas always seem to be facing this one issue and certain communities in other areas don't face this issue let me uh where's the water coming from where is it coming from? What's wrong with these pipes? That's not wrong with those pipes. And what can we do to get better infrastructure for these companies? You know, I'm just saying like, is it the fact that people aren't paying taxes? Is it a punishment? I don't know. But it's all within the infrastructure. So I do understand when something is wrong with the sewage or the water or the light or something like a transformer for electricity. The box exploded but why is that you know why is it constantly exploding like why are there so many people attached to one transformer that it's overpowering the the voltage and it's exploding like it, it just is crazy like going away is crazy for the whole day worse now when you have zoom and you have to go to school or your meetings online and your internet just bloop, gone don't get me started on Digicel and Flow. So sorry, name dropping, but don't even get me started because that is another thing. I really miss having, what is it, like prepaid. It's not technically prepaid because, you know, your, your service abroad. When you have your phone and you basically pay your $79 and you have three people on your plan and you have unlimited internet call and text and bray, bray, bray. But in Jamaica, it's not like that. When your service goes out, boo, you have nothing, like nothing, sis. So those things really do get me frustrated. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> we did touch on this um, when it comes to accessibility, but number six is the medical system. So, Jamaica, um, if any of you are nurses in here in Jamaica and you're a nice nurse and you care for your patients, I applaud you. Um, I really do. But for a lot of us, we do come across a lot of mean nurses. And I'm so sorry, not getting paid enough or not having the proper equipment does not mean you should be mean to people. Switch jobs. Go somewhere else, boo. Like we're all facing it we're all facing it especially now we're all facing it and i can understand if um let's say a client a patient comes in and they're mean to you you know just try to remove yourself step away get your um your supervisor um your nurse supervisor or whatever it may be speak to them remove yourself from that situation um but sometimes people come in and they, you're mean to them off the bat. You're mean to them. You look at them. You don't address them. People sitting down in, in chairs for hours without anybody saying, okay, here, here, here. What's going on? What are your symptoms? You know, who needs to go to, to rapid or who needs to, who can afford to, to sit down and wait a little bit longer while someone who is in more immense danger I, if you get what I'm saying, I'm not saying anyone is more than anyone, but some some cases in hospitals, you know, some people need to get looked at immediately. It just, it's so sad coming in and meeting mean people in hospitals. Like, what is going on? Like, we're having a bad day too. Like, girl, like, ugh. I don't know. So that's one thing. And I really would, would wish that the government would allocate more money to the Ministry of Health 
because I don't know why oxygen is low. I don't know why beds are low. Um, I don't have that specific detail to, to answer to it, but it is very sad and it is a reality that we are facing now. So I really don't like that because people are suffering because of it. So yeah, sorry if I'm sweating, the light is on and at home, the fan isn't on and it's really, really hot. So I'm sorry, but anyways, and I have a lot of high energy right now. Number seven, government agencies all still falls under poor customer service because you tend to get poor customer service from them as well. But we're not going to touch on that anymore. But corruption, corruption, like do I need I say anymore? Corruption. Um, Jamaica is listed as one of the most one of not the, but one of the most corrupt countries, especially when it comes to money laundering. Um, so you have to be very careful with things like that. You have to be, you have to do your due diligence and make sure that what you're doing is legal and people who you're working with are following the law. Um, so be very careful because corruption, um, money fraud, money laundering, those things are very prominent here. Scammers, are very prominent here. So just be very careful of that, but I really don't, I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, expenses, this is number eight, expenses and money being tied to the US dollar. Hello, ma'am, why is the rent 900 USD? Are we in the USA? Why are you doing that? People here are working, they're getting paid in JMD unless you are catering to let's say expats or someone that isn't from jamaica that's just you know short-term living here but why are you renting in usd can you please rent in jmd i understand that when the money does fluctuate you don't want anything to change on your end but you are you're in we're in jamaica we are in jamaica you know even even with simple things like groceries, like the dollar goes down and all of a sudden, like your bill completely changed. Like it's it's here and there. And I understand that's just the economy. Um, that's just how it is, but we don't have to like it, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah. Number nine, living in Kingston versus living in country. So country country living is amazing, Kingston living is amazing. It just depends on whether you like this lifestyle over that lifestyle um but what i can say is i would love to have more things available in country like internet cafes or coffee shops or i would love for people and i do myself want to in the future invest in country so i'm not saying like you should go do it and i'm just gonna sit here and reap the benefits no but it would be nice if more people would invest we have some young people who are brilliant and amazing in um, these country areas of Jamaica, but they don't have these certain things that some kids in Kingston might have. Even internet. Um, I ain't even going to get started on that. That's a different rant. But things should be taking it back to accessibility. Things should be accessible in country just like how it's accessible in Kingston but yeah and then in kingston i mean granted you have coronation market but like if you go to a supermarket vegetables and things like that is so expensive and i love country for this because you know you can just go to grandpa you can go to grandma auntie uncle whoever and then just give a hand a banana or some yam or some watermelon or you know just some nice stuff some some planting you know it's just nice so that's what I really do love about country and I wish Kingston would have more country aspects and I wish country would have more Kingston aspects. So if you get what I'm saying with that one, I'm sorry I wasn't as articulate as I would like to be, but I hope you understand. Um, the monopoly in business, the monopoly in business. There's literally like certain supermarkets, that's it, that's all um wholesales you can go to so that's nice you have a variety so i can't lie with that but when it comes to things like um the nwc i think national water commission like that's it 
um i'm not sure i can't really speak to other countries with this but even things like nht bro like um no nht is good let's not talk about nht things like jps jps is the only place that provides electricity like of course there, there are things gonna be so um high because there's nobody competing with them there's nobody competing with them. Yeah, have Digicel and Flow, and yeah, they're competing with one another, but that just still is not enough. Like, there's such a monopoly in a lot of businesses in Jamaica. So, <sighs> yeah. Number 11, colorism. Colorism. Colorism and classism is so rampant here, and people would not like to speak about it, but that's a whole nother video Sashana and I are planning on doing but colorism is huge huge just like how racism is huge in um america canada uk and those other countries colorism is huge in predominantly black countries so i understand that all over the world yes and even in asia colorism is very 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 rampant there so can't even lie about that but in jamaica it's it's so it's so sad seeing us black people class each other as this that and that and treat each other based on that it's it's very sad it's very sad but then you hear people look and be like oh my god i can't believe that's happening in america you see people still want to fly out and ray 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 and ray but you're the same person that then go down the road and treat someone who's dark skin like they're less than nothing make it make sense make it make sense i don't like it and colorism and classism are kind of tied together um, because you can see like a very small minority in Jamaica tend to own a lot of the wealth in Jamaica and they kind of monopolize off of it as well. Um, so classism, people really tend to treat you like if they find out you're from such and such neighborhood, they'll treat you poorly. Some people, not everybody, but they will treat, they will look at you differently. They will treat you poorly. Um as if you're less than and it shouldn't be the case i think you should treat people based off personality based off character based off actions um but that's not the case so colorism classism i hate it i hate it a lot and i hate how in our society now it's just so disgusting it's so disgusting yeah number 12 jobs wanting the most but paying the least and i believe anisha talked about this and i'm not even gonna lie to you jobs in jamaica like for entry level they want the most and they pay you so little so it's like please be respectful of people and their time like you're paying them for a job you're asking for a through z and you're paying them five dollars for that it's it's a shame it should be a crime that's one thing too we really need to talk more There's a wasp in here, but I'm trying to just like zone it out and I didn't know where it disappeared to. It's over there. Um, minimum wage in Jamaica is, it's, it's, it's rough, bro. It's rough. I see people doing some hard labor work, hard work, like way hard. And they're getting paid terrible for it. And like I said, sometimes people want, you have a master's degree and 12 years experience and still want to pay you like a hundred thousand dollars a month how is that possible how where did you get that number from how anyways that's that and then my final one which i think we can all work on is number 13 jamaicans being complicit we tend to be so complicit with things even even in this video even in this video I know some people are gonna say, you can't compare Jamaica to America. Jamaica is a third world country, and I would prefer people start saying developing country, but you can't compare Jamaica to America. That's not how it's done here. You're being complicit. You're being complicit. Why are you accepting the bare minimum? Why? You have freedom of speech. You can protest if you get your, you know, your permit. You can protest. You can go to town meetings, you can write or call your MPs or your counselors, like, 
when are you being complicit? You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when it's time for election and you're wearing your colors and you're parading around and you're so happy and you take a picture with the thumb and the ink, but then when things aren't being done, you're not saying anything. And then the next cycle comes again and you're parading again and doing it. What are you parading for? What are you so happy for if nothing's being changed? If nothing's happening? Like, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. Like, literally, my, my head should just explode right now, but I'm not at that level of editing yet. But it blows my mind. So, I would love for us to voice what makes us angry, not go take action and riot and do all these things and you know all this extra extra stuff but like come up with a plan voice like like speak to some officials hold people accountable um so it really does pain me when i see people being complicit with the non-actions of government and when 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 you have friends or family member or people in your community doing illegal stuff or um committing egregious crimes and you're quiet why are you complicit but then you go online and you're like yeah man the crime needs to end and all and very 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 jamaica government now do not but what are you doing you know who did it i understand the fear of not wanting to be a snitch but like enough is enough when it comes to certain things enough is enough and i'm not promoting nobody to go and snitch like do you but Please don't go online and say they're not doing enough when you're not doing enough as well. Don't be complicit. If you want change, go out and get change. Be the change. So that comes to the end of my video. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope I wasn't speaking too fast. I have them listed down in the description box. If you want to have a conversation, please drop a comment. Let's not be mean. These are things that affect me. It might or might not affect you, but please be respectful of everyone's opinions, including myself. Um, if you don't agree with me, respectively, respectfully, leave a comment down below and let me know why. Like, give me some, give me some, you know, conversation, something that we can go up. Don't just say, oh, girl, it's stupid or whatever, because people have said that to me and it's not nice. <laughs> but let me know so we can have a educated discussion about these things and if you like this kind of video let me know what else you would like to see please drop a comment down below like the video share the video even if you dislike it like do it um <laughs> share the video and thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel b squad big up yourself and have a great day bye